Pimanum, Eastlisho, I guess I could have got less concordia. Minister, as you might remember, I rang you when this issue became a very hot issue in Galway. And we had a good conversation about it, and I, I really appreciate the fact that you came back to me very promptly. And I was of the view from the beginning that looking for discretion is a bad policy in law, and that the best way to sort this out is the way you're doing it. Bring in the legislation and have no uncertainty about what's going to happen. And I said that with, on two grounds. One, because I knew where the issue had stemmed from, and I knew the circumstances that various people were trying to deal with, including Angard the Shiochana, and competing demands from different sections of society. And the other reason was, it's an untidy way. I, I believe in discretion in circumstances, but I don't believe in a kind of discretion where one person applies in one way and another another way. I'd like to think when people use discretion, most reasonable people would have applied it the same way in the same circumstance. Uh, and I do welcome this prompt action by the government in dealing with this issue and bringing certainty to it. I take it on a very quick reading of the bill, and I only got it in the afternoon, and I was busy all day at committees, that basically, the area immediately abutting a licensed premises de facto becomes part of that premises. And therefore, you can serve alcohol there in the normal way, subject to keeping the normal order you'd keep within your licensed premises. Now, my understanding in Galway is that there's a general prohibition in bylaws on drinking on the street. I presume, without changing the bylaw, that these particular areas are now covered by the primary legislation which would trump any bylaw made by the local authority. But I think that issue would need to be clarified uh, so that uh, we're absolutely clear. Now, I was perfectly understood from the very beginning that statute law always trumps any bylaw anybody makes. And uh, you know, that clarity may be in your reply. You would just say that you cannot now make a bylaw making it illegal to drink. Uh, you know, when you're served on what now seems to me at a very, very quick perusal of this bill to become de facto part of the premises. It's easy, I think any of us who have been in government, including the previous speaker, will have had the experience where in the morass of a massive amount of legislation, and there is a huge amount of legislation in this whole field, that some detail gets overlooked. And these things happen. And even the most expert people can often find differences in the law and there's arguments about interpretation and so on. And I have a belief that it's very hard to foresee every problem. But what's much more inexcusable is that when the problem arises, you don't deal with it. And what I would like to say is, fair play to you, this issue has been dealt with expeditiously. We'll bring certainty to this issue, and we can close the chapter of this book. And it has been a very minor ripple that's been dealt with expeditiously, and I don't think we should get overexcited about it because it's now solved, or it will be solved once you get this through the Shannon and get it through the dial.